safe like I do. Till death do us part. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review till death do us part. Before we get into the review, help me out by go ahead and clicking that subscribe button. Go ahead and click the bell so you can be notified and give me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, till death do us part just came out. Excuse my review for being extremely late. This movie is being directed by Chris Stokes. I'm like, I know that name. I know that name. And I'm like, yeah, Chris Stokes. He's like a music producer and has a lot to do in music and he's been directing a lot of films or well, not a lot of films, but a few films. And I guess he's just trying to uh, dip his toe in this industry as well. And uh, just to be honest with you guys, this is a extremely low budget production. It is a B movie, so I probably won't even rate it because I just don't feel like that's fair. But this is a B movie. And I actually did not know that going in because uh, I never saw a trailer for this movie coming out. I heard like I heard people talking about it. I saw posters and, you know, maybe heard a TV spot or something on the radio or in the background. But I actually ever actually sat down and watched the trailer. I knew Tay Diggs was in the movie and uh, somebody at work was like, yeah, you know, Tay Diggs. And I was like, yeah, I know I need to see that movie or whatever. So I wanted to go see it, uh, you know, not too long ago. Uh, this I forgot what day it was, but I just want to go see it. And this is going to be real quick and real short. But like I said, this is a extremely low budget movie. If you can make it past the first 30 minutes of this movie, then you will be able to enjoy yourself for the most part. Because while there are a lot of bad things in this movie, there are a lot of great good things. And it does have some redeeming qualities. And overall, is an entertaining film that you may want to wait. Um, I mean. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. You can go see it if you want to in the theaters to support. But, you know, if you want to wait for this to come out on, um, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, Redbox, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But as part as far as the plot is concerned, there is this couple um, by the name of Allison and Michael, and they appear to have the perfect marriage. But Michael has some serious dark issues with his past and insecurity issues, and he becomes a controlling husband and his wife feels in danger and wants to get away. We've seen this story played out in film and TV or whatever a thousand times. And now they're just doing it again in a cheaper version uh, with a lot of black people. And, you know, hey, let's see how it was the acting from uh, Allison her name is Jessica Vanessa De Leon. that first 30 minutes it was trash it was atrocious it was cringeworthy to where you wanted to walk out of the movie well not the whole time but there was a one time where she was trying to emote anger and just show how frustrated she was with the marriage and I, you couldn't take her seriously it was laughable I was just kind of like oh my gosh like where did they get these people at I mean you know, I can understand they may not have all the resources in the world, but my goodness, was this the first take? Could y'all, did y'all not rehearse this? This is, this is horrible. This is horrible. Um, but yeah, she's not happy her marriage and she wants to escape or whatever. And from that point, it's pretty self-explanatory. You think you have the whole movie figured out, but aha, uh -huh, there is a twist and there is a twist that I actually did not see coming. And I really don't watch too many movies like this too much. So they probably could have used this plot point before in a bunch of lifetime movies or something like that. But it was a little twist in the movie that I did not see coming. But that's pretty much what the movie is about for the most part is this couple. They're not having the perfect marriage. And Allison is wanting to get away and start another life um, with someone else. Um, but, of course, you know, she has to stay away from her abusive husband. And, um, you know, that's just kind of how the movie unfolds. Just kind of how things play out. Uh, it was kind of frustrating. Like, I do not under any circumstances, uh, you know, feel that a man should hit a woman under no uh, other than self-defense. Like a woman is trying to harm you you know, uh, w with some brick or a knife or a gun at that point in time, you have the right to, uh, to defend yourself. And even if a woman is slapping you or whatever, even though I don't feel like a woman should slap a man, I will walk away. I'm, I'm just like, I won't run away, but I'm like, woman, you need to get back, you know, walk away, you know, leave me alone. All that. I don't, I don't condone violence. I don't condone a man hitting a woman. I bring it up. To, I bring it up though. Even though I feel that way, and I, I, this is going to sound really sexist, you know, and just hear me out. You always hearing TV shows like, you know, the man hits the woman and you hear this in the movie. Well, she asked for it or whatever. She deserved it. 
in this movie, some of the things that the wife was doing, I mean, like, why? If you, it's just, it was just stupid. Some of the things she was asking to get hit, the man shouldn't have hit her. But it's just like, why would you say something like that to somebody that you know is abusive? I mean, you know they are not going to react well this way. You're just pressing their buttons. No, the man still should not hit the woman. So <laughs> he still should not hit her. Okay, but at the same time, don't go and provoke somebody. You know, like. If, if you know, um, you know, if I know somebody doesn't like peanut butter, well, no, that's, that's just a bad example. That, that's a horrible example I was finna list. But l- let me come up with a better example. I mean, well, I don't like what you're doing, so I'm just going to stay over Becky's house because you're acting like I'm blah, 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 blah. I mean, she did something like, uh, okay, just leave and go over Becky's house. Why do you have to make an announcement? Why do you have to yell it in your face? Like, is he going to sit there and just be like, okay, honey, you know, have a good one. Bye. You know, call me when you get to bed. He's not going to do that. Just, I mean, why would you? It, it, it was just stupid. And she was just kind of doing things like that throughout the movie that was very frustrating. Um, but, you know, after all of that, you know, the relationship that she was having with Tay Diggs or whatever, it was starting to progress. It was starting to blossom. It was starting to flourish. And I really did like that. And as you're watching the movie and you're knowing how we're in, there's really just no stakes. You know, no one dies. No one gets hurt. So no one does this. No one gets that. It's just a movie that runs itself to the end to where it's somewhat anti climactic and you can pretty much predict after that twist you can pretty much predict um what's going to happen in the movie um like i said i'm not going to rate this movie i don't even know because i just don't feel like this fair because this is a low budget b movie it is not up to the standards of a normal hollywood production but i will say if i were to rate it that the movie is entertaining and it is worth a view if you want to go to a met don't don't pay full price for this Unless you're just trying to support uh, Chris Stokes. But uh, you can do this in a matinee. Or you can wait for this to be read by us. Because even though all the bad it did have. There was still uh, some entertaining uh, qualities about it. That I did appreciate. But guys that's just my opinion. Have you seen Till Death Do Us Part? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me? Or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why. And still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the content that I have to provide. You can click the bell and be notified when I make uploads. You can also go to my website, check me out there. I do have written reviews. You can bookmark it. And also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff in the description box down below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review starring Tay Diggs, directed by Chris Stokes. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.